There are some beautiful testimonies. Again, let me remind you that if you do have a testimony from those cards, please uh, get it to one of the pastors or somebody in leadership. Uh, we want to get to here, and I believe it's going to start to accelerate as we hear one testimony after another uh, because uh, the levels of faith are, are certainly increasing. Can you say amen? Well, I've got like 14 minutes to preach. How many of you believe it's possible for me to preach in 14 minutes? Okay, I'm going to prove you. I can see a lot of doubt and unbelief in this place. So we're going to have to prove you that by 9.30, all right, I will stop. I'm causing a bit of problems with regards to the next service. And I'm told the cars are backing all the way down to Mall's Tile. So I want to ask you for forgiveness if I have caused that problem. But Wayne, do you think it's possible? All things are possible to them that believe. All right. Quickly, I want your Bibles open. We're going to carry on with what I'm doing. I've just got this last bit of the word that I want to share with you. Ephesians 3 and 20, TPT translation. You know what it says. He will achieve infinitely more. How much more? Infinitely more. I need you to speak to me. How much more? Infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. And so out of this scripture, you all know that our theme came for this year. What is our theme for this year, family? Say it one more time. So much more in 2024. Amen. Now, let's look at some new scriptures today, all right? Here's a, here's a scripture that I want, I want you to look at, 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Bump your neighbor and say, I think he's talking to you today. That even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man or the inward woman is being renewed day by day. Hallelujah. And how is the inward man being renewed? Well, Titus 3 and 5 tells us. Let's look at verse 4. It says there, But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior toward man appeared, at not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us through the washing of regeneration. That is the miracle of somebody being born again. It's the very miracle we saw here this morning. And renewing of the Holy Spirit. So we know that the Holy Spirit is part and parcel of this divine process that we call renewing the mind, okay? Now let's look at Ephesians 5, and verse 25 says, Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave Himself for her, that He might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the Word, that He might present, look at verse 26, that He might sanctify and cleanse her, how? with the washing of water, with the washing of water by the Word, that He might present her to Himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any, any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. The Message Bible, verse 26 says, Christ's love makes the church whole. His words evoke her beauty. Uh, everything he does and says is designed to bring the best out of her. The Passion says, um, uh, she makes us, God, let me put my glasses on, sorry, <laughs> to make us holy and pure, cleansing us through the showering of the pure water of the Word of God. Would you lift your hands and, and say this after me? It takes the Word of God quickened to us by the Holy Ghost to bring about the renewing. Amen. And we actually call that revelation. I do believe that too many of God's precious people have a lot of information, but not many actually have revelation and walk by revelation. And as a matter of fact, family, we grow and flourish and prosper and thrive in the midst of darkness and calamity, not by information, but by revelation, right? Can you say amen to that? Remember when Jesus asked the disciples, who does people say that I am? 
I said, well, some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elijah, some say you're Jeremiah or one of the prophets, but who do you say? And it was Peter that said, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. What did Jesus say? Blessed are you, Simon Bar, father of Jonah. Blessed are you. Blessed are you because flesh and blood, information didn't give this. You didn't Google it. Chat GPT didn't give it to you, but it came by revelation from heaven. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? So going back to 2 Corinthians 4, 16, therefore do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. The message Bible says, so we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside it often looks like things are falling apart on us, on the inside where God is making new life, not a day goes by without His unfolding grace. Can you say amen? Praise the Lord. Now, I want you to see from these scriptures that obviously it is a process that doesn't happen once off. All right, but every day, day by day, we have to lay a hold of the Word of God, and we've got to allow the Holy Ghost to quicken that Word so that our minds are renewed every day. That means it's whether it's good days and bad days. That means whether you're on the mountaintop or whether you're in the valley, that means when everybody is singing your high praises and when everybody is actually talking bad about you, when you're a hero uh, one day and you go all the way down to zero the next day, it don't matter. Every day, you've got to make the time, lay a hold of God's Word and allow the Holy Ghost to renew the, your mind by the quickening of that Word. Amen. It's a divine process. And Anything that involves a process involves time. Can I get an amen? All right. Ephesians 4.20. My time is running up. But you have not so learned Christ, if indeed you have heard Him and have been taught by Him as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man, which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which was created according to God in the righteousness and holiness. The NIV says, uh, to be made new in the attitude in the attitude of your mind. The NLT says, instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and your attitudes. The Jonathan Mitchell, which is quite extensive, says, and then to be continuously renewed or from time to time or progressively made young again by or in with the Spirit or attitude, breath effect, breath effect. In other words, the Holy Ghost breathing His breath on the Word of God and causing that Word to become revelation to you, that is what, it, that is, what is going to renew our minds in the Lord. That word renew there in verse 23 actually means to cause something to become new and different. Hear, hear this now. With the implication of becoming better and superior. God wants you better and superior. Not a superior that now you're looking down at people because you're so high and mighty and there's pride and arrogance and not, not that kind of a superiority, all right? But uh, God wants to renew our minds, wants us to renew our minds so that He can make a better version of ourselves. Can I get an amen on that? Hallelujah. Some of us, we're still version 1.0. Well, I've got good news. There's version 2.0. And then there's version 3.0. And then version, I don't know what version you are, but every time you renew your mind, what is God doing? He is creating a better version of you. Lift your hands and say this after me. Every time I lay a hold of the Word and the Holy Ghost quickens His Word to me and my mind is renewed, God, God is making a better version of me. And the person next to you said, amen to that. Wives are saying amen to that and husbands are saying amen to that. 
Praise God. Amen. So the Holy Ghost wants to take God's Word, renew it to your mind, not to hinder or limit you, but to make you better. And each time your mind is renewed, you become better and better and better and better. And that better part of you overflows into every other area of your life. So you become better. You become better in your marriage. You become better as a grandparent. Hallelujah. I need all the help I can right now. You become better in your family. You become better in your business all through the renewing of your mind. You become better in ministry. You become better as a person. You become better in life. The word renew actually means to exchange that we exchange our minds for the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. I mean, imagine if we could exchange our minds for Einstein's mind. Wow, we would all be geniuses, right? Or imagine if we could exchange our minds for Beethoven's mind. We would all be conducting and, you know, and, and writing out music classical. We, 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 we would all be amazing. Imagine if we could exchange our minds for that of a four-year-old. A lot of us would have less stress. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yes, exactly that. If we took on the mind of a child, we would be less stressed, less freaked out, less anxious, less fretful, less worrying, less concerned. Amen. But we don't, we don't have that. We exchange our minds for the mind of Christ. Amen. And we we take on the mind of Christ, which is what 1 Corinthians 2.16 says, or who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. Means we get to think like he thinks, means we get to have his ideas, his thoughts, his perceptions, his perspective on life. We get to dream the dreams of God so that people can say, when they look at us, here come the dreamers. Hallelujah. That's a compliment, actually. Here come the dreamers. I want to be dreaming the dreams of God. Hallelujah. I don't want to be having some funny dream because I had too much pizza, but I want to dream the dreams of God. I want to imagine. I want God to use my faith to paint on the canvas of my imaginations the pictures that He has concerning my marriage, my children, my finances, my business, my ministry, etc., etc., etc. Can you say amen? Stand up to your feet. Wow, he's done. Whoa, whoa. Lift your hands, everybody, and say after me, Heavenly Father, thank you for your word that has come to me. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing by the rhema word of God. I am a faith person that has a faith covenant with a faith God. I live and move and have my being in you and in your word becoming revelation knowledge to me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for quickening God's word to my spirit, to my innermost being. Even though my outward man is perishing, yet, yet my inward man is being renewed day by day. I will. From this day onwards, make time to read and study your Word. Did you hear what you said? Are you going to make the time? Say this after me. I will use my time. I will use my time to ponder, to muse over, and to meditate in your Word. And even go so far, and even go so far as to mutter and speak your word to myself and to the very circumstances I find myself in. You use your word to renew my mind so that I can be so much better and excel and flourish and prosper and be blessed in every area of my life. I believe it. I receive it in Jesus' name. And everybody said... Amen and amen, and it is 9.30. Lift your hands right now. Father, as we go our various ways, you go before us. Thank you for your word that's come to us. Thank you for faith that has been inspired and ignited in our hearts. We go blessed today in Jesus' name. Let's give all of those people a great big God bless you online. We love you. Until next time, God bless you.
What a phenomenal, phenomenal service. We're so wow. glad that each one of you have joined us. There were so many things, little nuggets that Pastor yes. John spoke about. And, and I want to encourage you to take this down. Yeah. Lots of people have more information and less revelation. Wow. That's phenomenal. Yes. You know, so many times we, we're looking for the knowledge, but yeah. we're not receiving the revelation of yes. God. And how do we do that? By grabbing a hold of His Word yes. and meditating on His Word day yes. and night. And He says this. He says, it doesn't matter if you're on the mountain top or in the valley, yes. keep on doing it. Keep it's a it. process. It's a process, yeah. You Absolutely, know? I took so much away from that word and even the awesome testimony that was shared yes. during the service that we serve a God of the impossible. Amen. And when Definitely. we are plugged into His word, like Cody said, yeah. we are actually a part of creating a new version of ourselves. Exactly. You know, the, he spoke about the, the definition of being renewed as yes. the process of being made better wow. and superior. It's an exchange. It is. Your mindset for God's mindset. Yes. Your heart exchange for God's heart. Yes. Your ideas on life exchange for God's yes. ideas on life. And we are creating a better version of ourselves. Yes. So I want to ask a question. Drop a comment in the comment section. What version are yeah. you right now? Savannah, what's the, what version are you? I'm thinking about Isaiah 55 that says God's ways are higher than our ways yeah. and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So I'm in that version of renewing. I is won't it? say that my mind is completely renewed, but I'm constantly, constantly renewing. Constantly Because you said it's a process. Yes. So you're in the renewing. It's like, I'm it's in like the renewing. Apple and, and Android. Yeah. Apple doesn't have many uh, uh, updates, but, but Android does. Yeah. Which means I've like, been completely renewed and, and <laughs> being perfected and being better. Yeah. I'm personally at version 39.4. Okay. Point 17, point 9, 30 in the morning. I'm constantly being transformed. You're counting down to 40. That's what I'm you're counting doing. <laughs> but family, it was an awesome time yeah. in the presence of the Lord today. Yes. I want to encourage you to drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether you've enjoyed the service. Yes. If you say, Cody, I've made a decision to follow Christ today. Yes. I want to encourage you to get onto our website. There's a tab called I've Made a Decision. Yes. Fill in that form. Our passes are available and waiting to take those phone yeah. contact numbers. Call you and walk this new road of salvation with you. Yes. We're so proud of you. We're so excited yes. for you. We know that the rest of your life is going to be one paved in newness of life yes. and in the Word of God. And nothing, 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 absolutely nothing will be impossible because you've now put your trust in God. And we love that you have put your trust in God and we want to walk this journey with you. Yes, so amen. one way that you can stay connected with us is by joining us on all our social media platforms. Amen. Facebook, Instagram, we've got TikTok. If you're watching on YouTube right now, make sure that you've subscribed and that you've hit the bell so that you can be notified whenever we have any new content amen, up. Yes. And also follow along with us on the DCC app and on our website so you're up to date on any upcoming events. Amen. So until we see you again next yes. week, renew your mind, yes. enjoy the rest of your week, and know that there's open doors and yes. favor that is upon your life. So until we see you next week, goodbye and God bless you.